Hello and welcome to the Philippines. About two years ago, I was allowed into Zele Place. I think I was probably one of the first ones uh, to view it while it was still under construction. Two years later, we're going to do another uh, walkthrough of a couple units here. It is built by Robinson's Land and it's on Gerardo Avenue, not so far from Mango Square, Ayala Mall. This is a one bedroom unit we're looking at and uh, those are the cabinets it would come with. Uh, comes with the flooring, I believe that we're looking at here, same thing. About 3.8 million, 3 million pesos or about 75,000 US dollars if I have my information correctly. That price varies by location in the building. 25 square meters, uh, I think they have some a little bit bigger than that, not positive, uh, about 269 square feet. Uh, many Asian cultures are used to much smaller spaces than us from the Western countries. Uh, so keep that in mind. They will, I, I know people living in uh, places this size with uh, five, seven people living in there. And uh, that's, that's common for large families to live in smaller spaces than what we're used to. I think all units have balconies. Uh, nice size balconies as well, so they're they're usable. Some places have such small balconies that they really aren't very usable. You can put uh, plants and table and chairs out here, but you are not allowed uh, to cook. If you've got a grill, yeah, that's not allowed. And I haven't found any place that does allow it. And you've got some windows there that open up. Would be a little tricky cleaning those. That building on the right there is Paget Place, another nice condominium project, not very far, just down the street from this one. But it is off the main Gerardo Drive, so that the traffic noise would be a little less. And there's Paget Place. I believe they still had uh, 10 to 20 percent of the units here to sell uh, when I looked at this, uh, and uh, it surprised me a little bit. I thought it would sell out very quickly. I've had a couple of people ask me if this was a nice place to uh, rent at. They found the, the rentals on uh, places like uh, Booking.com, Airbnb, and uh, in my opinion it is. It's not that far to walk uh, to Mango Square. Uh, some people don't want to walk that far. And those are the, the panels where your main water shutoff is and your meter is at. And not so far from Ayala, it's still maybe a kilometer or so, so many of you wouldn't want to walk that, but I don't mind it. And under the sink, uh, what I've seen in some units is that grease trap down there that you want to clean out every few months. And now we'll take a look at a two-bedroom unit here, uh, pretty much uh, deliverable and uh, much the same layout. One thing I like, they give you much more counter space here and cabinets than most places give you. Most places I've been in, you just have a very small, very, very small counter space. This is up to 56 square meters, about 602 square feet, uh, about 5.7 million pesos was the information I had, or about 114,000 USD. And uh, I would prefer to uh, make either my living area a little bit bigger or one of my bedrooms bigger, perhaps both if I could utilize uh, that common wall be and, and move that if possible. Not sure if I could here or not. And there again, you got a balcony there, uh, or you got a window there. And comes with that cabinet. Uh, uh, the, the cabinets, most of these places supply their, their particle board type and uh, not that high quality. I would prefer just to go out and get my own good furniture. I've only had one place tell me that uh, that they would give me a discount if I didn't want their furniture. Most other places just tell me, well, it's yours, uh, so you can do whatever you want with it. You can sell it. They have cutouts for window type air conditioning, but uh, truly I would want to install a split type. And uh, I did not get a an answer when I asked whether that was possible to do that, whether they would allow that or not. It changes the way it looks from the outside. If, if some are, you know, 99% of them are window type air conditioning and then somebody puts in a different type of unit, but uh, that's just crazy that they still use window units here. In my opinion, 
They have nice amenities here, including a, uh, a pool area, decent sized pool, uh, a gym, a library, a, uh, I think a, like a conference room, uh, let's see, a couple other things, I believe, a business center. And I will show you those shortly, but very nice sized pool. And they have showers and CR toilet in, the, in that area also. They have a kiddie pool, and I'll show you that here in just a second. And that is the, they call it one tower. And it is nice that you get the afternoon sun here. Personally, I don't want to lay in the sun. I know some people come here to tan, but I, I, am, I don't tan, so I don't lay in the sun. I just burn and peel. They have a backup generator that is good in the common areas as well as certain outlets in each unit. I'm not sure exactly what that means or how many outlets it is, but I had that in uh, Persimmon, which is a pretty nice condominium complex. The electric would go off about one hour every couple of weeks, and uh, my fan would work and my uh, lights would work, but I didn't have enough power to operate my AC, so after couple hours that would get a little warm and they have a bit of a jogging track out here you're walking or jogging track and goes up around the side it doesn't go all the way around the building just goes up around then you'd have to you'd turn around and go back the other direction but that's kind of a unique nice to have that function room yes. once you are this 500 pesos per hour 500 pesos per hour yes have our meal room, okay. business room for 200 per hour. Business room, no, two. 100 per hour. 100 per hour. Yes, this one is a conference room, 200 per hour. Conference room, 200 per hour. Yes, and okay. the audiovisual room is 100 pesos also. The what? This one, the audiovisual room. Oh, audiovisual room. Yes. Okay, which is what? Um, it's like, uh, if you want some movie, movie marathon, you can have it here. Oh, okay. You just have to rent this for 100 per hour. 100 per hour. Yes. Okay. Very nice. And that's the gym too. That's the gym, yeah. Library. Okay. All right. Yes. Kind of quiet room. Okay. Here's a typical room layout for a studio, one and two bedrooms, and here's a map of where it's at. That up, up, upper center, uh, that big red marker there down to the lower left, uh, you can see Osmina, Fuente Osmina Circle down there, and you go back to Azalea marker there, just not very far to the right uh, lower area there is Ayala Mall, so that's how close you are. Keep in mind that prices vary by the location in the building. Generally, the higher you go up, the more expensive they get. If you get a corner unit, it's more expensive. If you get one like a studio with a little more room than the average ones, it costs a little bit more generally. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at. And we'll see you next time.